Hi, welcome back, now with better sound. So in the last video we tied up our editing of posts and this now works really great here with our modal and yeah, with the possibility to change it and get this live update in here. Now what I want to do in this section or in this video and the next videos is I want to add a tiny little account section where I can basically change my first name and also upload, uh, let's say, a user image. Now this image will only be visible in the account section, but it's a good exercise to see how we can upload data or images, store them and retrieve them. Let's get started. The first thing is obviously the account page. Therefore, oops, therefore I'll create a new view here and I will call it account.blade.php. By the way, with more and more uh, files being added here, it might be a good idea to structure this in a different way, like let's say you have a back end folder and a front end folder or in a different way. But for now, I'll leave it like that. This file here will extend the master layout and I will set the title to, let's say, and section to let's say just account and then of course we have our content section and in this contact section we'll have a form where we can edit our contact details and below that form I want to display the image. Now to do this I'll paste in some code which I have already prepared and which you will of course find in the github repository linked to this video. Now, what this basically is, is just a form with the first name and the image upload button. The first name is fetched from our user here, we're, we're, um, we're passing the user to this view and therefore we can extract the current first name which will be in the input field by default. Um, we're routing to account save route, which we have to create, where we will handle the saving procedure. Here we got the file button and all we have here is, well it's of type file and it's also important to add something in our form element here. The enc type, the encryption type should be multi-part form data, otherwise this will not work. If you don't add this attribute here, file upload will not work as Laravel is not able to well understand that you're sending a file and that should not just some text basically yeah so that's very important below here I got another section which I only show if we do have a file stored now all this logic here is not important right now I will go into that storage thing once we're actually storing the file but basically this function here just checks does this file exist um, we'll give this file a certain file name so that it can uniquely um, identify each file for each user. And if it exists, well then we will have a, our image element here basically where we're fetching the file also through a route and this route will return us the file. Because we will use the Laravel storage engine for this, which is an engine which, well, does what the name sounds like. It stores files in a certain place namely in this storage folder here, in the app folder to be precise. And we can put data there and retrieve it obviously. Now for setting our image source here we need to retrieve this file and therefore we will have an extra route doing this. Okay, so that is our view here. Now to be able to display this view we also need the route and well the controller function which is responsible for getting this view. Starting with the route and the routes file obviously, I'll just put it here below that logout route. So route get should let's say slash account and whoops and we'll can't type and we'll use a controller here and this should be in the user controller and here we will have the get account route. Let's call it like that. And this should also have a name, this route, and I'll just name it account. 
Now in the user controller, I will obviously add something. I will add this function here at the bottom, public function, oops, function get account was the name I used here in the routes file, get account, that's the name of the function. And all this function does is it well it will return a few return view um, the account view we just created this account blade.php file and we want to pass a user to this view. Now that's really easy because the user will be oops I should be quotation marks will be the currently logged in user. Therefore we can just pass off user because calling this user method on this off the state will get us to currently locked in user. That's a little helper variable offers us here. Now obviously we could just call off user in the view as well, but this way it's a little bit shorter and we have to just use the user variable in the view. Okay, so now this um, retrieves our user and gives us the account view. The last thing I want to add is in our header, I want to add a link to that account. So to do this, go to my header blade file and in here I will duplicate this logout route here, we'll call it account and of course change the route to account. Now one other thing I'll do here is my brand here, I will replace this hash sign with an actual route leading to the dashboard. This way we will have well an easy way to always navigate back to the dashboard. Okay, let me save this and reload this page. So you see we now get an account button here, an account link, and if I click on it I get an error. Route account save and not defined. Yeah, okay, because in my view I prepared this in advance, as I said, I am saying okay, once on submitting this form, we're executing the or we're using the account save route. Now I haven't set up this route yet, so let me do that real quick. So we'll do this right below here, route post and then we will use update account and we'll use a controller here of course uses and again it will be the user controller and here the post save account you may choose whatever name you want of course uh, this is just the name of the function which will be executed in the controller as you are aware probably and then this route should have a name of account save and the name is very important because that was the error we just got so the name here has to match the name in um, the account blade.php file so let me reload here and now you can see this works we got our name here filled out now saving won't work because i haven't implemented that yet but yeah we can see this we can back, go back to our dashboard so that's great in the next video we'll make sure that we can actually upload a file and see something happen. See you there. Bye.